I'm, uh, I'm from Raleigh, and uh, this place is very special to me. You know, it's where I've always called home and uh, never really considered going to school anywhere else but NC State. And uh, it's a great school, great community, and I just absolutely love it here. But uh, something that struck me was just really how poorly some people looked upon the large homeless population in Raleigh. And I've, this has become a problem. You know, people just aren't treating each other with respect nowadays. And, uh, you know, you see the, you know, you see them on Hillsborough Street and you see the conditions that they're living in. And uh, for them, this is real. Well, I had sisters that I teased a lot. They didn't have any brothers. It was pretty rough. It was rough because my mother and father weren't together my whole life. And um, when I left home at 15, I think I gave up a lot. I didn't see Santa Claus anymore, Tooth Fairies, Easter Bunny. But it was a challenge because I had to grow up too quick. Really, it wasn't a happy childhood. My, both, both my parents were alcoholics, and so I had to take over the, kind of the house finances at a very early age before they got polluted, and then the family didn't eat. So, um, I don't know. It's just uh, it taught me taught me at a young age. You like to be rough. It most certainly is. Homelessness is due to the lack of relationships that someone has with someone. Because you think of you think of us. You think I have a great family. I have a great uh, community of friends. That if I was to ever lose my house it, for any circumstance, I have relationships that would pull me out of that and would support me and give me a place to live. Um, a lot of homeless people don't have that, and so then they become homeless, and then it's just this ongoing cycle. You see, if you see somebody homeless or you think they've got their problems, just stop and talk to them for five minutes. Because most of us out here don't have anything to look forward to. Because once you get out here in this, you're not going to get off these streets very easy. Too many people I know die out here. So it's a sad situation. It's something society needs to be working on as a whole. Government can't fix everything. Um, we need other individuals doing this, the helping of people. I have a piece of bread. You don't have any. Guess what? I can't eat my bread in front of you without giving some to you. Because it's, it's part of, it's, it's, it's the whole meaning, I think, of life, to appreciate what you can do to help someone else out. It's not so much taking. It's giving too, because as long as you give something, you get a lot back in returns, because that makes you feel good inside to your heart. I think that homeless people get a bad rep for um, being those, having that, that kind of stereotype, because it's easy to look down on someone that, that doesn't have anything. I just feel that they deserve a chance just as much as anyone in society would, no matter no matter if they have two cents to their name or they have two million dollars. One day I'd like to be somewhere that I've never been. That's what I'm thriving for now. <laughs> Cause you know, a lot of fine people are there and the weather's nice there and it's it'd be good for me. Yeah, I, and I wouldn't feel as homeless there than what I would hear. If you don't want to be in my shoes, you better get educated and educated and educated. You uh, need to find a relationship with God. Many a day, he's brought me through some very bad days. Just I'll stop and talk with him for a minute and everything's just like the sunshine. Seems the day grows a little brighter and things and uh, just treat your fellow human beings as fellow human beings.